hello guys and welcome back to Omozish TV channel and this tutorial we are going to learn how to make this building using the same technique actually this is the part two of the isometric if you didn't watch my previous tutorial so I recommend first of all to watch that because this is the second part so it will be a little more advanced but before that please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so you will get the notification for other awesome tutorials uh, let's get started first of all we will create uh, a new page for this okay now uh, our artboard is ready we will click on view menu and click show grid after that we will go to studio and select the isometric After that we will click on the view menu then we will select grid and access manager. Then there are some presets so we will select one of them. I, I usually use this one, one uh, centimeter isometric cube. So this is already um, uh, all the axis everything is already fixed. So if you want to customize it uh, you can do it by division and also changing the axis. Okay, we will uh, check to fix our grid uh, size, so I recommend uh, it should be according to the design size that you guys are doing. Um, but of course, the more uh, small will be the more precise one. Uh, so from here you can also adjust the dimension and also uh, you can select or rotate from here as well. So I will move the axis from the corner to the middle of this page so it will be more easy for me to adjust. It's up to you, it's, it's, it's not a problem to put wherever you want. But uh, how you are going to make it, that's the point. So, okay, we will adjust this. I think 10 is okay, so 15, let's check, 15 is a little bigger, so, okay, no worries, we can, we can select anything. From this, uh, we can also rotate, and uh, it will help, uh, help us, um, something like, from which perspective do you guys want to draw or to make that those shapes, and, uh, I think I think this is much better. Yeah, this perspective is looking good. Okay, we will close this. After that, we will select a shape and draw. See what will happen. Uh, just be careful. The snap to grid should be tick mark, and we we can see that our shape is snapping to the grid. See here, nothing happened. Why? Because we didn't select the edit in place. Then we select the top option, and we will draw. The shape will be automatically something like on the top of the floor. Okay, then I think we need some coloring stuff over here. So let's move this somewhere else and we we'll click. Mm, so I'm just searching for any suitable color. I think this is much better. Okay, we will select green, something like this. So after that we will select and draw another one so we are going to make the pool uh, and the color can be blue.
so this is the swimming pool okay maybe there here can be okay let's make it a white color or something like as a floor okay that can be a border or outline of the swimming pool i think that is very important to give exactly the good feeling of that uh yes this is nice and uh, this tutorial is for beginners so if you already know these things just uh, you can just skip this part because it is very slow I didn't speed up this video because some of my friends uh, told me that please make it slower I just decided to make this video slower than before and uh, yes and we will select different color and those colors can be saved in recent color over there and uh, we will select a side one and we need to make a wall for this and we can change the color of the floor something like white and it is very important to just decide or make differentiate your shapes by giving different colors uh, this is very important so whenever you want to draw something or make a shape give it, give it any color it's not important that it should be accurate but it will help you so right now uh, see we have two shapes which is the top floor and uh, the roof and also floor but because their their color is the same so they are mixed up but don't worry we will fix it until when we arrive at the end and you will see the the technique uh, as we already made one so we will duplicate it by pressing alt and move the shape it will duplicate and uh, i think we should put it here because it's it, there is something like uh, uh, this is the path and uh, footpath then the footpath goes there and yeah okay we will make like this it still it doesn't look good because the sh colors are mixed with each other so we don't know what is this uh, but uh, keep just keep looking uh, everything will be fine as uh, the artists are uh, looking from their mind and uh, of course at the beginning it is very 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 not a good shape or something but uh, keep working on that and uh, as you know that designers should uh, see the last result so before he or she is doing something he knows how it will look like at the end uh, so we will just give a little white or maybe blue blue but mixed with white because uh, there will be a reflection from the water or maybe from the front there is some other light come up so it will help and then we will resize the top one okay then we will create this uh, wall and also this is uh, something like front and this is the uh, maybe inside that we can uh, we can we can create any floor or maybe a carpet 
any green carpet something like this and uh, mm, okay we'll give it a maybe a little another color something like this dark yeah I think this I think this one is looking good but let's check with other color as well okay we will put it uh, inside the layer the layer adjustment is very important we will use this one all the time or the shortcut the shortcut is control break it open or break it close these are the uh, shortcut you can check it um, yeah so you can use control shift break it open and break it close as well to jump directly from up and down now another point is to create something that there is some pillar inside or maybe outside of the first uh, first room or whatever we just name it okay let's zoom to make it more precise then we will select uh, maybe the same color we need to put it okay now they are similar with each other that's perfect we will adjust the wall to fit over there and uh, I think it is a little bigger so we need to make a small wall something like on the right side the same thing uh, okay I think something like this I think we can do it by duplicating this and make the, the first copy downwards something like this uh, yes isometric grade is awesome it, it, it helps a lot to make any 3d style uh, environment and for or for the game assets for for any any kind of assets you want to make A little bit it's better to snap or maybe to fix exactly on the grid so it will help us to not to be uh, you know out of range or maybe out of border if you use a grid just to give you precise uh, alignment it it is really really nice technique always i recommend to use this always uh, so uh, I, I, yeah see here some on some points that we don't have grid lines so it will it's good but it's still not so much precise sometimes we need to zoom and then scale down or scale up to fit okay after that we want to create the upper part of the wall so we'll change our isometric tool on the top and create another rectangle shape and we need to change the color of this to so it should be a little different shade that is the top part we will duplicate this exactly the same T using the same technique pressing alt and drag and drop uh, we can zoom and check if it is really aligned or not I think this is perfect now before there was something missing we need to fix all those extra gaps that we have in our design
okay like this you can make it and now I think we need uh, to copy this one for the left side as well uh, yeah so we'll adjust the size as well Then make it a little something like this and make it on the top this is the uh, one step or maybe one uh, technique to do like this 